my name is Kaden. Hi, Kaden. Hi, Hi. <laughs> I live in Jonesport, Arkansas. It's been a it's been a good time saying care. Kaden, can I ask a question? Yes. How long have you been here? Since April fifteenth of this of last year. We do live in Jonesboro, which is just about an hour away from our door to here. Um, Caden was, I say, diagnosed out of the blue. Any of your traditional signs and symptoms he never showed. His manifested as my wrist hurts. From one day to two days later, it was just a little bit swollen and it had some heat to it. He never ran fever. He never had bruises. He was never tired. Like, um, to a visit to the pediatrician and um, blood samples being taken and a phone call April 15th that Friday morning saying uh, I've already talked to a doctor at St. Jude and we need you to be there this afternoon so we got here we went inpatient kind of whirling crazy freight train hitting us and the second one was his specific type um, and spent almost a week to the day inpatient, just starting his treatment. And um, then he actually had a particular type of virus, so he was actually in isolation for a week and couldn't be around other kids. Um, but then when they got whatever they needed and he was out of isolation, um, they moved us straight over here. And um, we stay here every day. Um, we do our labs and our clinic and our physical therapy and, and whatever else we had going on, the chemos and the medicine room, and we'd get done and uh, he'd say, can we, can we go home now? And knowing full well we couldn't go home home, but what he meant was, oh here. Mm -hmm. um, so it was definitely a comfort. Um, you know, we, we had our little bit of space in our room, but we also had the community in the common areas, in the dining rooms, in the kitchens, on the playground, um, which was just fun. What I like about the house is that everyone acts like their family to each other, and they're just kind people. And We thoroughly enjoy our time here at the house and it will forever be very special to us for not just what it offers. I mean, it's a roof, it's a bed, but there's so much more than that. Um, everybody here from the other six-year-old boys running around that come up and go, hey, you're new, you want to be friends? <laughs> who has been fighting a diagnosis on and off since he was four. He's not new to it. He's been doing it for a while and so so with his parents to come up and, and recognize and willingly embrace the new families, the new kids, when you have this freight train that just you've been smacked with out of nowhere. It's such a phenomenal thing to have the atmosphere that's here, to have the other families, to have the community. Um, you know, in, in the normal world, you might say, how's work, how's school? Here, hey, how are you today? How are your counts? How's funny? Um, the friends that we make here, that you may only see them for two months or a couple of weeks. But they're not just passing ships. Everybody here really impacts everybody else. And it's it's a lifelong thing. The, the friends and the families that you meet here, you're always connected to them. So much more, so much more than anybody who's never seen the building or set foot in the building or known of a family or friend that has dealt with a child with cancer and stayed here. It, it's so much more 
than anyone could possibly envision. You need homeschools, so she, you know, this is a. He's the second oldest in, in the slew of things. His older sister is, oh, I got the halves in now, 12 and a half. And so 12 and a half, mm -hmm. 9 and a half, mm -hmm. uh, 7 and a half, mm -hmm. 4 and a half, mm -hmm. and 2 and a half. And the 2 and a half year old was 18 months old when he was diagnosed, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of hard for me because it feels like I've been gone half her life. Mm -hmm. um, and she wanted to talk to me on the phone. Connor has gotten for the last couple of weeks every day at one or two o'clock. My cell phone rings. Hey, mom, can I talk to Caden? He wants to talk to his brother. And the uh, Clara, the two-year-old, wanted to talk to me the other day. And I said, "Hey, baby." And she said, "I'm not a baby. I'm Clara, mom." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was kind of—I mean, other than the leukemia, we particular had a, an extra whirlwind because. Um, Clara, the two and a half year old, at one year old, um, right after her first birthday, she had heart surgery. And it was an out of the blue, unexpected thing. Um, so she was just coming off of six months after that, doing really well. Um, so we had just gotten through that and thought, wow. you know, we, we've had ours. We're, we're good to go. You know, made all kinds of plans for 2011 and hit another bump. But uh, it's all working out. Thank you.